Hey everyone, it's Coach Mark and we are at day 13. Follow along with me. We're reading from my new book, Repeat After Me. All we're doing is reading one chapter a day. That's it. One chapter a day. It'll literally take you about 10 or 15 minutes to read a chapter a day. And I promise you, if you apply, if you read the chapter, apply what you learn, it's going to change your life. I promise you on everything I love, right? I got a money back guarantee if you download the book. You get all your money back for free. I'm giving the book away, so you really don't get anything back. But just trust me on this. Trust me, I wouldn't lie to you guys, right? If you wanna download the book, all you gotta do is go to www.repeataftermebook.com and you can download the book for free. If you wanna buy a physical copy of the book, you don't like downloads or whatever, you can just reach out to me, send me a message, send an email to coachmarkspeaks at gmail.com, send me a message on Facebook or whatever, give me a call if you have my phone number, and I will get you some copies of the physical books. We're doing two for ten dollars, five for twenty dollars, ten for thirty-five dollars, and twenty for sixty dollars. And if you're a big baller, we're doing fifty for a hundred and twenty five dollars a hundred and twenty dollars or something like that i don't remember anyway we're at day 13 and that is passion passion is energy feel the power that comes from focusing on what excites you and that's oprah winfrey all right and the second quote is nothing is as important as passion no matter what you want to do with your life be passionate and that's john bon jovi okay so the affirmation for today and why do we read affirmations why do we recite affirmations to ourselves to help us to reprogram our negatively programmed minds right of all the negative that has been thrown onto us all these years we need to reprogram our minds right because we can't do anything differently than what our mind tells us that's why affirmations are so important all right so today's affirmation is I am passionate in all that I do because this is the energy that drives me. Everything takes less effort when I live and work from what ignites my imagination and feelings of excitement. It's easier to rise early, do more, stay on track, and take pleasure in hard work as I stay connected to the passion that lives within me. All right? Lessons. Planning, working, and living from the perspective of one's driving passion is the foundation of a life well lived. It's easier to deal with setbacks, criticism, temporary failures, and delayed rewards if you possess a driving passion in the area of your pursuits. Often young teens and young adults are persuaded to give up on their passionate pursuits. Their parents or their friends tell them to work in a field that is dependable in terms of employment. So they study and work in a field that allows them to collect a paycheck, but nothing more. While all of us must stay grounded in earning a decent living, it's always good to never lose connection with one's passion. There are just about 24 hours in a day, but some of that time needs to be reserved for passionate pursuits, such as teaching, speaking, writing, building a business, and so forth. Giving up on one's passion in life for the mundane comes with a serious cost. That's why I always tell people, right? People are always looking for all kinds of opportunities. I say, do what you love. Do what you're passionate about. Because trust me, whatever you do, if you really want to be successful at it, it's going to get hard. It's not going to be easy. You're going to have rough times. I don't care who you are, how much money you have. It's going to be hard. But if you're doing something that you're passionate about, that's what's going to drive you through to complete it. That's what's going to drive you through when it's the rough times, when it's hard, you don't feel like doing it or whatever. That's why it's so important to be passionate about it. Trust me. In anything that you want to do, I can almost guarantee you there's money in it. You can make money. It doesn't. You don't have to just do what people are telling you is a traditional thing to do. There's money in everything. Find what you're passionate about and go forth with that. So question yourself. We ask questions to get answers because answers equal results. If you could do anything on earth, spending your time any way you wish, what would this be? Very important question. I'm going to read it again. If you could do anything on earth, spending your time any way you wish, what would this be? Take your answer seriously because at the center of it lies your passion. How could you fit your favorite hobby into your work life? How can you turn what you love to do into a career? These are questions that you really need to ask yourself. That's how you're going to get the answers and that's how you're going to get the results. 
Alright, so the next section is take action. Imagine that a wealthy person paid you a salary to do any job you'd like for one year. Figure out what you'd love to do. Envision several jobs to see what sparks your passionate feelings. Invest time in truly figuring out where your passion lies because it can be hidden away, especially if you pushed it down for a number of years. A lot of us do that. Why do we do that? Right? We allow people to talk us out of our passion, what it is that we want to do. And we go all these years in our lives doing what it is that other people wanted us to do. There's a story of this artist that lived probably about 50, 60, 70 years ago named Grandma Moses. She always wanted to be an artist, right? But when she was younger, people told her, you can't make a living at that. You can't do that. This is probably back in the early, late 1800s, early 1900s. So she didn't do it. This lady got to the end, to her 70s, right? After her kids had grown up, she had grandkids, her husband had passed away, and then she said to herself, you know what? I'm like 74 years old, 75 years old. I might as well go ahead and, and try to become an artist. I'm about to die soon, right? Because she thought she was gonna die in her 70s, right? So she went ahead and she started working on becoming an artist, right? She went and bought some art supplies. She started becoming an artist, and within two years, she cranked out her first painting. This lady went on to be one of the biggest artists of all time and lived to be, was it 101 years old, right? Amazing story. So millions of dollars, her paintings are worth millions of dollars. People told her that she couldn't make a living being an artist, right? But she ended up making millions of dollars. The only tra tragedy in this story is that she waited until she was 76 years old to become or to do what it is that she always wanted to do. But Fortunately, she still had an opportunity. She still had a chance to do what it is that she wanted to do. All right. Next section is repeat to yourself. So you're going to create your own affirmation based on everything that you've learned today and repeat it like a hundred times, right? Because we probably heard more than a hundred negative things. So we need to re program our minds with our own words all right then the next section is resources and then the final coach marks words of wisdom the day that you find your true passion is the first day of the rest of your life the day that you find your true passion is the first day of the rest of your life that's why we were put on earth right to help other people to become better ourselves right and that's usually going to be through doing whatever it is that we are passionate about. Don't forget, download the book, www.repeataftermebook.com. If you want a physical copy of the book, reach out to me. And until tomorrow, be passionate in all that you do.